DMG. Emotional aspect of having killed somebody. Okay. So my character is going through changes and emotions and knowing that the opposition is out to get me now. And you see that with uh, Jet, you know, uh, busting in the crib, looking for information or the bag. All right, so what's the next one we're about to get into right now? Next one is Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Okay, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Let's go. But yeah, that intro scene, I had to have the cassette tape because that's retro. You know, kids nowadays don't even know what a cassette is. And the fact that that car only has a cassette, I was like, bro, I gotta go find a, somebody with a cassette tape. Yeah, like, that was tough to find. Nowadays, in 2019, it was hard to find a blank cassette tape. I think we had the Amazon. Is this outside the studio? Uh, yeah, that's uh, around the corner from the studio. The other scene is on the other side of town. That's on the other side of town. This is actually in the gritty at my homie's barber shop. Kevin Cut. Shout out to Kendall. Appreciate the big dog. Low is there getting the haircut. Mind you, he was the last one with the bag. This is my homie, Didi. Didi's on Dada. Shout out to my homie. Plus, that's your tour hat. The board dropped it off in the beginning. Those walked off with it. Why you got the bag in I like the black 540. Appreciate it. I did that. That was actually the first 542 we ever made. Okay. So it's kind of like a throwback. I wanted it to be showcased. And then uh, that uh, real loose costume that's really pretty. For y'all that don't know, the gritty is TV City Virginia. It's just forever being called the gritty. The grit. Yeah. We gotta talk about that one after this. <laughs> no, but for real though, on, on, on another subject, was it always called the gritty when you were growing up too? I mean, when I was high school, when I went into high school, that's when we going to the end. Right. I don't know if it started there. I, I, I want to trace it back and see where the nickname started. Like, that's one of my, my things. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it started in school. Right, like, or even not too long before that. Yeah, yeah, Like the 90s. I was about to say, all the older kids were calling it that, so I'm like, that was when I was in elementary. I'd probably say like maybe 95, mm -hmm. hip hop came from hit more, yeah. more mainstream. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a good point. That's a very good point. All right, so I just dropped the bag off the young child. That. Now, that's actually the last you're gonna see of the bag. And we actually have a spin-off plan to explain more on what happens with the bag. So, all these people are these artists, so Logan. So, everybody you've seen so far is an artist, okay. yes. Even the bad guy, Justin Toons, he's a producer. Oh, okay. my producer. And this is your antagonist. Right. Shout out Wade Gaskins. He did an amazing job in his role. And this is... This the end of the video is about to start another. This is this is the this is the shot. Beautiful. It came out so well. It was so dark that night. I was surprised. Like, yeah. So in blood, sweat, and tears, I was supposed to meet up with Shaw, and we were going to go to the gym and work out. Um, instead, I'm out busting moves. I had things to do. I didn't end up meeting her. She ends up getting kidnapped. Here, I just got the news broke to me of what happened, and Shaz tied up. Which, yo, Shaz like did an amazing job. Like, 
these next two videos are incredible. And this scene was shot in the basement. We actually did uh, the dark days scene, Dan and Amigo, on the same day. Very cliche we did that, but it's kind of more of a show, like, um, I'll be on with the most, you know, yeah, yeah. but it's cool with the 40. Like, yeah, it's cliche, like, why would you just be sitting on 40, but it's like, you know, somehow people go down all when they have problems. So that was kind of you changed, I changed, now see that's what it is. Straight up this here, where I come from. And all of them shots in that basement. First, I were get these fun. dark days out the way. It turned out so well. I'll be fine. I get these dark days out the way. Out my mind. Out my mind. I get these dark days out the way. Dark days out the way. There's uh, scenes when the beat hit. We was in there shooting the performance First, I get these dark days out the way. Go ahead and act like you're gonna hit the camera. I get these dark days out the way. Dude. And then just put them on the beat and it just feel like it's brought it out. It made the beat hit harder. That makes any sense. Yeah, it's crazy. You don't really realize it's like the simple things that really bring a visual up. Yep, definitely, definitely. Like the silhouette scene, like, I don't know, it just it captured the, the darkness of what I wanted. And what's crazy is you see him having a conversation. It's, there was no script. It was like, all right, here is the scenario. Improv. And that's why I think they did such an amazing job. Because there was like really no direction. Or that's all there was was direction. And they had to take it from there. You know what I mean? Right? Oh yeah, when, when he talked back, everybody in the base was like, oh. and then he's like, and then everybody just starts laughing, like, he just starts laughing, and it's like, alright, everybody's okay. <laughs> You know, as I watch this, I'm like, oh, I wish you'd done this, I wish you'd done that. And I, I just think every artist does that. Like this last scene, I feel like was drawn out a little bit. We could have cut it a couple seconds shorter. But yeah, just little things. All right, so what's going on now? You picked up the strap. It's time Mr. to go. What's going on now? It's time to go get, get our girl back. Okay. So, Mr. Mingo is like probably one of my favorite tracks I've ever done and probably contributes a lot to the beat. Shout out LDN, but it's just, I had somebody review it on Twitter and he just found it. He's like, yo, this beat makes me want to bag up 300 pounds. I'm like, damn, I feel it. So why'd you go with these songs for this particular visual? You know, when I was writing it, it just kind of happened. Like, I, I knew the story. I knew where I wanted to go with each chapter, so I kind of just wrote to fit the scenario. So, and Mr. Mingo, I wanted, I, I, I drew inspiration from the original Mingo track, which kind of brings it all full circle um, with the hook. But, um, yeah, it's just intense, and I wanted a fight scene, and pulled it off. And I just felt this was, this was the fucking one. Safe to say the same again. Hate the same as love the game. Don't stay in my looking to be the lead the way. Hey, that was the last shot we ever shot for it. It was a reshoot. Me go hit that up. Hey, get the bag and run it up. That scene was shot in reverse. Those lights aren't actually blue, it's just how it looks with the camera, which is awesome. So how did you get caught? What happened? I missed it. Alright, well I opened, I opened the door and got hit with the bat. Like, oh, that was new. Yes, yes, yes. I thought she told me to do it. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey. Me go run it up. Hey, 
You know, you only got three minutes, three to four minutes to tell like this whole story. So it's like you gotta pick and choose what you show. Now I just got past the razor blade. But my inside man, who was actually the one who did the bat, he had to do that for me to get in. So it was all fun. Only thing I say that I was kind of looking for would have been more narration. I feel like you're talking like dialogue. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Definitely dialogue because I feel like the visual is so clean that you had to just stop and have some dramatic music and then like so you know what I mean? Just damn. I'll explain that one after this. I'll tell you where I was at in my thought process. Because I agree with you. I feel you. They flex him for a dollar. Damn. I just felt like it would have helped. Uh, no, definitely. Carry along the story. Oh, definitely. I agree. That's what I'm saying. Those are the things you think of after it's done, and you're like, man, we should have did this or that. And it's like, hell, I already got three more tattoos on my arm. So if we did reshoot something, I'd have to make sure my arm was, was invisible. So I'm all about continuity. Like, like, I'm pissed that there's a beer can right there on the ice oh, machine. Man, like, you like know, the little things, thing, dog, I'm telling you. I feel you, though. It's your shit. You're yeah. Know this, is. this drone shot was the second to last scene we shot. That was a reshoot back in February. So a couple of those, we had reshoots. It was just like a movie. Like, there was things we seen. We we're like, all right, we need this. Let's go shoot it. So, but the, the whole dialogue thing, I agree with you. Um... At the time, oh, and the credits are freaking awesome. Um, um, it wasn't in the plans to do dialogue. Uh, it really was just I wanted music videos, and then them to play together like a movie, and that's what it is. But of course, looking back, I wish there was more dialogue for a little more explanation for the viewer. DMG.